Bhagavad Gita 2.11, Sri Bhagavan Vatsa. Asusan Ambasusa Spampakya Valam Sabasasi Tatasun Agatasun Sananusan Chanti Pandita. The Supreme Personality of God had said, by speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise neither lament neither for the living nor for the dead. So a wise man does not lament that uh, but in our conditioned state many times our mind goes back to the past lamenting that did not work out this did not work out and then you have the passing away from relatives or friends it goes a straight free how to overcome it that uh, if we are not spiritual advanced it's very difficult but even if we are not spiritual advanced by looking to the Gita and, and the transcendental knowledge we can quickly get relief an example for that is Hiranyakasipu Hiranyakasipu was instructing the the queens of his brother Iran Yaksa who had been killed by Barahadev and he was consoling them that if we hear he's speaking philosophy because Iran Yaksa was Jai before one of the gatekeepers of Vaikuntha so he had spiritual knowledge, but it was covered to a certain extent because he had to uh, play the, the role of a demon to please the Supreme Lord by giving him a good fight. But still, he uses transcendental knowledge to console the screens and they quite quickly get out of their lamentation by hearing this. So what are the points Iran Yakasipu is making? First he makes a point, the living entities they join together in a family as a result of their own actions and they are led to apart to their destinations. So we we are coming together like straws mixed together in a whirlpool and later disposed again by the same waves, waves they float alone in the water. So it's like passengers in a train. They come together for some time and then again they disperse, they separate. It's all temporary. If you get older, 60, 70 years old, and you look back, you have known so many old people in your life who died that uh, all these relationships have been broken, all temporary. It's all temporary. That uh, we can get attached very quickly for a short, in a short time, but this attachment doesn't make sense. It's also all temporary. That uh, if we look back 50 years ago, that uh, all the old people I knew them, they're also, also the, the culture, specific culture at that time, everything disappears. It's not there anymore. It's so temporary and therefore should not be attached. That we have been attached to relatives in so many lifetimes and it keeps us in the cycle of birth and death. Irania Kasbu further says, the spirit soul has no death which is eternal and inexhaustible. 
being free from material contamination, it can go anywhere in the material and spiritual world. So we have a gross and a subtle material body. And both these bodies keep us in the material world. Because in the, the subtle body means mind, intelligence, pulse, ego. The, the body concepts within the mind keeps on creating new bodies in the future, those bodies. And, and it's hampering our natural freedom. As a spirit soul, we can go everywhere, but if we are connected to these gross and subtle bodies, then we are imprisoned. We are depending on gross matter and subtle matter. That, uh, but this is just because we are misled. We are, it is said in Bhagavad Gita, Karanam Kona Sangasya Satsano Jan Shoni Janna. So, by association of material nature, we become infected by these false ideas and this false temporary enjoyment. And we take birth again and again. As we are agitated by the mind, by these modes, thinking that. Now I'm a human being, and then in the next life we think we are an animal, we are this, that. We are an old man, young man, a man, a woman. Several false designations which are coming from the invention of the mind. That, uh, but as the spirit soul is pure, always unchanged. That, uh, so, we suffer because we, ac we, are, we have accepted this idea that we are the body and the senses in the mind as our reality. And therefore we suffer because we identify with the body and the mind. We are bewildered, accepting the body and the mind to be the self. That we consider our kinsmen and, and our relatives and that they are ours and the others are outsiders and we suffer happiness and distress. Birth, death, lamentation, foolishness and anxiety are due to this material contamination. And by hearing this knowledge we can give it up. And then we say, oh, it's so futile, it's so temporary. The real, our real reality which remains is our relationship with Krishna. That, and we, when we develop that relationship, then we come to the platform of spiritual reality. and can enter again the spiritual world. But therefore we have to get rid of this manohata, this invention of the mind. We have to get out of this material matrix of thinking and identify with our spirit soul and act as a spirit soul and learn to act what, and learn what it means to act as a spirit soul, which means acting in emotional service. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Prabhupada.